the soul of the Springboks. I mean, that's a sentence that carries such gravitas anyway. I think you've got to sum it up for me in what rugby and winning rugby for your national team means to every South African who plays the game or aspires to play the game and supports the game. And, and I think the, the national team, the, the Springboks, have prided themselves on representing fully everybody from South Africa and in the best possible way, trying to win at the highest level in the biggest tournaments. Um, and the soul of that is a mishmash of the efforts of every single person who's there, how hard they are defending on their line, how hard they're pressing in attack, how much time and effort they're putting into the preparation for every single match and how much it takes out of them physically mm. just to be there on the field and to, and to give everything. And I think that soul is represented in, in the fact that the Springboks win the games that sometimes we're not supposed to win. Um, you don't want that to ever be reflected in losing the games that you are supposed to win, so we don't want to err on that side. But you know, sometimes with our backs to the wall, we become a very different beast, and maybe therein lies the, the, the magic of what our soul is. I could probably just explain by telling you a story. Um, when I made the All Blacks, one of the elders gave me my jersey and said it's on loan. And how long do you want to keep it? Do you want to keep it a week or do you want to keep it a decade? And um, obviously your first response is you want to keep it a decade. Um, but then uh, you need to understand that it's man in that jersey, right? And Colin Mead's always said it's the man in the jersey. So the soul of the All Blacks is what's the man in that jersey? And I think the man in that jersey uh, needs to have very strong values, um, needs to have the ability to sacrifice not only physically but also mentally and his family you know three to four months away from your loved ones um so when you run out you're running out as a man with with a whole lot of people behind you um your family your your history um the the expectations so our soul is um you know they explained the haka to me uh, very early in the piece, because we never used to do the haka as much as they do today. And it's my dad. My dad has passed, and he's in the ground. So when we do the haka, we're calling all of our people that have been before us and all the people that are in our lives present. So for, the me, for me, our soul is to um, leave the jersey in a better place, both from a human point of view, but also from a um, spiritual point of view? I think the soul of the Springbok is an unwavering belief in hope, um, responsibility, uh, and an absolute desire to achieve, consistently achieve on the highest possible level uh, you know, of, of rugby, in rugby. Um, you know, I think that's something that gets ingrained in us uh, from quite a young age, uh, you know, as, as young schoolboys playing in your backyard, you know, simulating, you know, some of the legends of the game and believing that perhaps one day you can get, get there. Um, but then when you are in that, in that position to, uh, that privileged position to, you know, to don the Springbok jersey, to play in a test match, to play in a World Cup, um, it's those, those elements that you've, that you've really built as a core a core belief system um, that you need to hold on to for motivation, that you need to deliver on uh, for our supporters, for our nation, um, but that inner desire uh, to be the absolute best, uh, to push yourself, uh, to serve a team, um, you know, that it can hopefully remain champions uh, for, one, for, one more, uh, for one more period.